My 27M partner has given me 26F, an ultimatum. For context I have been with my partner since we were 16 17 in high school. Our relationship moved quite quick as his parents kicked him out of their house as soon as he turned 18 and he moved in with my dad and I. My dad helped us a lot with savings so we'd eventually be able to move out but then we had our daughter 4.5 years ago and the move out was not possible as I was working less and daycare was chewing most of our savings up. Fast forwarding to the end of last year. We finally have two decent full-time jobs so we make a decision to start looking for our own place. Unfortunately around April this year my dad was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. He is currently on leave without pay and is going through chemotherapy. I had personally stopped even considering moving out when we first found out and naively assumed my partner and I would be on the same page. I was wrong however and recently he brought up the possibility of moving out to a rental owned by a colleague that will become available within the next two months. I did shut it down instantly for obvious reasons and he did seem to accept this at the time. However over the last week he has given me the ultimatum of choosing my dad or him. He says that if I don't move out with him that I am breaking up our family. I do understand where he is coming from because he has wanted the independence from my dad, outsiders for the longest time I just don't see myself leaving my dad at one of the hardest times of his life. My partner is so adamant that if I choose my dad he will leave me forever. I dk if he is just being stubborn and will eventually come around or if he is being completely serious but either way the whole ultimatum has really made me look at him in a different light and i genuinely don't know what to do anymore am i making the right the decision if i choose to stay and help my dad or is there a middle ground here tldr partner making me choose between my sick dad or him ah stage four is a terminal stage your father was there for you when you both needed a place to stay. Be there for him now at his final stage of life. Wait, wait, if I'm understanding you correctly. Your father opened his home to this man at 18 so he would have a place to live. The two of you continued to live there for the next 5.5 years. And not only did you not move out, you then had a child you couldn't afford on your own. Your father took this in stride and allowed all three of you to keep living there. Presumably rent-free, or at the very least at a reduced rent. Since you said he was helping you save to move out. So your father has been providing, at the bare minimum, a home for you and this man for nine years. And suddenly now that your father has terminal cancer your boyfriend is in such a hurry to move out of his house. He's giving you an ultimatum that he'll break up with you if you refuse to abandon your dying father? And you're considering this? I am so sorry he is not supporting you in what can only be described as an exceptionally difficult time. I know it feels just awful. But your dad is your priority here. Asking you to choose is cruel beyond imagination. In sickness and in health, also means when the people you love are sick and need your support. A true partner, especially one who had benefited from your dad's kindness in the past, would not be saying these things. Irrespective of what your partner says or does next, you know now that you can't count on him for the things that are really important. Don't just let him move out. Ask him to move out. I'm sending you all the best vibes for you and your dad. If you can think of anything that we internet strangers can do to support you, please let us know. Your dad should absolutely be a priority to him. I can't speak to their dynamic. But it takes a special kind of person to let their teenager's significant other move in full time. At 18, there are so many other scenarios where you would have had to figure out to be completely independent at 18. Personally I feel like it's the bare minimum to stay and help or at least let you help care for your sick father. 
Especially because you don't know how much time you'll even have left with your dad and chemo is no joke to get through. Your partner's actions make no sense. Considering your dad supported him effectively and now needs help your partner is being beyond unreasonable and if he's going to dictate terms like this document everything. He is seeing how far he can push you and you still choose him. This will be a theme in your life for the rest of your life if you stay with him. I wouldn't let him walk. ID make him walk. See ya. Call his bluff. A partner, who's willing to put you under this much pressure in a time like this isn't a partner. At all. And make it very clear to him that the one leaving is the one breaking up the family. Your father has been there and let him live as the home when he had no one. I'm sure that was inconvenient. All I'm saying is that is making you chose versus coming up with a plan that supports everyone shows a lot about him. In a couple it should be both of you versus the problem. But he's pitting you against one another. I'd start with counseling, but truly listens to him if this is more important than supporting family who has supported you. Because I find that the ability to disregard others' help will bleed to me eventually. He's the one breaking up the family. Not you. When you're in a long-term relationship like that. Their family becomes yours. Especially after all your dad has done for your partner too it is insane that your partner would. Suggest that. It is totally okay for him to want independence. We all dream of it. But unfortunately now is not the time for it. Your family needs you. Ah. I am writing from the experience of someone who lost my dad to cancer seven years ago. My wife did not get along well with my parents at all. Please do not leave your dad's side right now. Do not even show him that there is any conflict at all. I'm sure he feels guilty as is that he is so vulnerable right now. And it seems like he sounds like a good dad. Stay with him for now. At least until he is at a point where he can care for himself again. Let your partner leave if he wants. I know it's hard to do but if he actually goes as says a ton about his character. If there is ever debate over custody of your child I guarantee you could win easily if that's a concern. I wish your father a quick recovery. I can understand why your partner might want to leave but circumstances have changed with your father needing help. Please remind your partner that your father took him in when his own parents threw him out. Couples therapy might help but I wonder if when his parents threw him out at 18 if there is an empathy disconnect within him. I hope that your father has a successful recovery and please support him as much as you can. Call the bluff. Your partner seems selfish and unthankful. Your dad housed and supported him 8 years and while wanting to be more independent is understandable. The lack of empathy and willingness to give back is appalling. Ask him how he can turn on someone who stepped up when he needed it. After losing his home and having a child. Your dad deserves better and hopefully doesn't have to hear how little his support is appreciated. If he can't even wait for a few months and support someone who took him in. Let the trash take itself out. I'd choose a pet over a partner so for me. This is a no-brainer. I'd choose dad he's not only a family member in need. He helped you when you were in need. Hugs my friend. This sucks. Your husband is unbelievably entitled and selfish. Your father took him in off the streets and this is his response? Just wow. So he is being selfish and cruel. Supporting my spouse when her father died and her support as my parents got sick and died showed me. That the vow in sickness and health covered more than just illness in the two of us. It's being there as your partner struggles with the pain of life challenges. DTMFA you have just gotten a glimpse of how he would treat you if you got sick. Stick with your dad and enjoy every second you have with him. The BF can kick rocks. 
I'll break up with you if you don't leave your dying father. Dear Op, your partner does not have any good friends. Because if he did, his friend would have smacked him round the head for this utter nonsense. He sounds really selfish using her dad's kindness when he got himself kicked out. Then expect you to leave while your dad, the one who helped him, is incredibly sick. He clearly is only thinking about himself sorry you have to deal this. Your dad is clearly the priority over his selfish ass. If the parents put him out, he ain't that wonderful of a man to be around. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.